Hey, gente, tudo bem? Today we are going to take a look at the past participle in Portuguese. Um, so why do we need to know what the participle is? Because we use this verb form to form the perfect tenses, okay? And the passive voice. So in order for us to learn these verb tenses, we need to see uh, the past participle, this form of the verb, okay? So the... Um, this is when in English most verbs are uh, regular and the ending is ed, okay? So love, loved, loved. So the ed is the past participle, okay? Now, if the verb is irregular, you have to memorize the form. For example, break, broke, broken. Broken is the past participle, okay? Uh, no, new, known, all right? So let's see how we, uh, uh, how we form the... Um, past participle in Portuguese, okay? So, let's see. Participe passado. Verbos regulares. So, the regular verbs. So, remember that the regular verbs, we have three endings. AR, ER, and IR. So, AR verbs. Os verbos em AR. Exemplo, falar. Remova o A. So, you're going to remove the mark of the infinitive. Remova o A e adicione ad, adu. Então, falar, falado. Uh, the verbs ending, verbos em ER e ER. Exemplo, comer, discutir. Remova a marca do infinitivo e adicione IDU. So, uh, discutir, it's discutido. Discutido. Então, comer, comido. Discutir, discutido. Divertir, that's the, the word I had before, the verb I had before. Uh, divertido, ok? Uh, os verbos irregulares. So, of course, we always have the, ver the irregular verbs, which means that we have to memorize them, okay? So, some of the ones that we are going to use a lot, the verb abrir, aberto, por, posto, the verb to put or to place somewhere, uh, o verbo ver, to see, visto, o verbo vir, to come, vindo, o verbo uh, fazer, to do or to make, feito. O verbo dizer, dito, to, uh, dizer is to say or, um, uh, yes, to say or to speak. Uh, escrever, to write, escrito. Então, aberto, posto, visto, vindo, feito, dito, escrito. Now, just to make things a little bit more fun, <laughs> some verbs, they accept two forms of the past participle, okay? So, when do we, we decide when to use one or the other? You are going to look at um, the verb the, that is going to be uh, used with it, okay? With the past participle. If it's the verb ter, you are going to use the regular form. If it's the verb ser ou estar, you are going to use the irregular form, okay? So, take a look at the verb to accept, for example. So, the regular form is it's, it's an AR verb, so it's aceitado. And the irregular, aceito. Uh, so, for example, uh, 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 the um, American Express card is not accepted here. Então, o cartão da American Express não é, so you have the verb ser, so you have to use aceito. O cartão da American Express não é aceito aqui, ok? Uh, now, all the cards are accepted here. Todos os cartões são aceitos aqui. Uh, and remember, this is something uh, that I will mention later because we are, when we start working with um, the passive voice and some exercise that we are going to do here, Remember that the past participle can be used to form a uh, verb tense, the perfect tense is like, for example, um, we have studied a lot lately. Nós temos estudado muito ultimamente. Or it can be used to form an adjective. It can be used in the place of an adjective. So, uh, for example, um, a written test. So, written is the pa uh, participle being used as an adjective, okay? So, it's a long test, a short test, a difficult test. So, it's in substituting for an adjective, all right? So, so remember that if 
the um, if the verb has two past participles, you are going to use the regular form, the ado ido with the verb ter, and the irregular one you're going to use with the verb ser and estar. So ganhar to win or to earn, ganhado ganho. The verb gastar to spend, gastar, and this is gastar. You're talking about. Um, uh, spend uh, in English you would you uh, you can use the verb use okay I'm you can say I'm going to spend my money I'm going to spend a lot of money eu vou gastar muito dinheiro okay now this car uses a little uh, gas gets a good mileage okay this is how in Portuguese you would say esse carro usa esse carro gasta pouco gasolina okay so it uses a little uh, Guess so it's we 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 would use gastar. Uh, limpar to clean, limpado e limpo. Matar to kill, matado morto. Morrer to die, morrido e morto. E pagar pagado e pago. So let's see here. Let's translate these from English to Portuguese. My bedroom is clean. So. Meu quarto está limpo. So you see that here you have clean, meu quarto está limpo. Somebody cleaned the room. So the room is clean, okay? So you are using the verb uh, in this situation. You're always going to use the verb estar, okay? Então, meu quarto, meu quarto, meu quarto está limpo. Meu quarto está limpo. The bank is not open now. The, the bank is not open now, so o banco não está aberto. Remember that the verb abrir is, uh, mass, uh, is irregular. So you have to use, uh, you have to memorize the form, okay? In banco is masculine singular. Então, branco não está aberto, meu quarto, quarto masculino singular, meu quarto está limpo, o banco não está aberto agora. The spoken word cannot be corrected, so be careful with what comes out of your mouth, ok? A palavra, a palavra, opa, a palavra, so o verbo falar, it's um, uh, a regular verb, so falada. A palavra feminino singular, então a palavra falada, não, so cannot, the verb poder in Portuguese, right? Não pode, and then to be corrected, não pode ser corrigida. O verbo corrigir, so ida, cannot be corrected. Uh, so we are using here the uh, passive voice that we are going to see very soon. I am not interested in politics. Eu não estou interessada. So, I am, I use the pronouns he, she, hers. So, I'm going to say interessada. So, you are going to agree when you're talking about yourself. Whatever pronoun you use, that's what you are going to say, okay? Então, eu não estou interessada em política. Acento agudo no i, política. The bill is paid. A conta, deu a conta, a conta está pagar. So you have the verb estar, o verbo pagar has two forms, but you have the verb estar, so you must use the regular form, ok? He's not dead. Ele, ele não está, acento agudo no A, morto. So the pronoun ele, singular masculino, ele não está morto. My exercise is not done. Meu exercício, exercício, acento agudo no i, e C de novo. Meu exercício não, tio no a, não está. Now the verb fazer is irregular. Opa, desculpem, não está feito. The document is written in Portuguese. O documento. 
está, o verbo escrever é irregular, escrito, documento masculino singular, o documento está escrito em português. Português, acento circunflexo no é, por favor. The window is closed. A janela está fechada. My clothes are not ironed. Minhas roupas, plural feminino, minhas roupas não estão passadas. Ok? Passadas, porque minhas roupas, feminino singular, feminino plural. Our love is written in the stars. Nosso amor. Tem uma música em português. Nosso amor estava escrito nas estrelas. Então, nosso, nosso amor está escrito. O verbo escrever is irregular. Amor masculino singular. Nosso amor está escrito nas estrelas. Isso. Obrigada, gente. Até a próxima. Tchau.